Okay guys, hello and welcome to the fourth video in the series and today I'm going to go over making a basic terrain. So just to start off, I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to use the template that comes with UDK. So let's just delete everything that we've got here first. So first of all, to make a terrain we want to go to Tools, New Terrain, and then this you get to choose uh, the width uh, well basically how big the terrain is so instead of 16 let's say for example I'm going to set it to about 50 and and 50 again so it's a square terrain okay next and then UDK will generate a terrain for you yep here we go 50 is a bit big shouldn't have made it like so big okay you know what? I'm just gonna leave it there doesn't really matter where it is really so today I'm going to go over geometry mode which is this I'm going to explain each of the different tools in here and get you familiar with it okay so let's say we got the paint tool basically you can add materials here I'll show you I want to go to materials I so shall to add materials to the terrain we got paint but since we haven't got any materials it's going to go to height map so let's just quickly increase the radius a bit and the fall off which is the outside and the strength so actually does something okay oh yeah also if you haven't got material on it it's going to be quite hard to see so I'm going to turn on wireframe and you should get a little blue grid you can change the color of it but there's no need just simple click it and then choose the color you want okay so to start off you want to hold down control left click to make it higher or if you got if you want to make it smaller control left click well lower sorry but yeah pretty simple it's just yeah and then let's go into the game and see if it's worked okay I'm gonna and as you'll see we've got a nice terrain you can't go off it so you can use that to uh, stop players going outside the game or yeah, you know, just falling off the map in general. And then along here, we've you don't need to worry about the vertex tools. We've got the average tool. Basically, that averages it out to like wherever your terrain is. Like, yeah, yeah, you should know what averaging is. So let's say control click, and it will go nice and flat for you. Average. It won't go to the bottom because that isn't the average because you heightened some of it already and you should be able to go on it, stand on it and it should be completely walkable yep here we go you might be wondering where my where the weapon's gone that's because I didn't save the map as DM so you don't need to, to worry about that when you're doing work with the terrain and then we've got the noise tool you don't really want to use this it just like makes a mountain effect it's pretty, it's pretty good but I mean it'll make it look a lot better when you add some materials on there too so let's just go into the game and see what it's done again okay as you'll see there's now some mountains you can you don't really need to go into the game because you've got the perspective view well I'm stuck in one of the little cones it also helps when people are trying to get out of the map and we got the smooth tool so let's say you're making like a river or something you might want this just so the player can get back out or you can do it through um, the water volume tool that now you've smoothed it out you should be able to walk up this hill thing um... okay there you go we can run straight up it so it's smooth enough just some of it's lower than the other parts, okay there you go and what else is there there's also the flatten tool which will completely flatten it at a like of a strength that you choose here Wait, no, change the height to let's say 50 and it will flatten it to 50, 50 is the default height for UDK so that's what you want to use if you're going to put it like let's say you haven't moved your terrain up or down that's what you want to use so let's, and then 
Okay, yeah, that's that's about it really. That's all you need to know for the geometry tool. You know, what? I'm just gonna quickly go over adding a basic uh, material to the ground. So a nice material for I don't know it's grass. It's time ground master. This is the one I usually use. And then you want to right, you know, just click on it, and then make sure it's clicked, and then right click new terrain setup layer from material auto create which is basically assigning a material from the content browser which you've selected previously and then give it a second and it will all go green yeah so here we go toggle wireframe off let's go to play and you now have some grass you can make it look cooler. I'll go over, when I go over the plants and speed tree tutorial topic. I will show you how to add vegetation, you know, plants, etc., and make it look a lot better. But anyway, that's about it for this tutorial. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and look forward to the next one. Goodbye.